Season's greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Alicia and in today's video, I am sharing with you my December Costco haul, showing you everything that I got, what I plan on using with all of this food that I picked up behind me. So let me show you everything. Very decent haul this month. I'm gonna start down here. Right here I have some wild sockeye salmon. My husband was asking if I can make some healthy lunches for him when he's on vacation. So we're gonna start off strong and I guarantee we're gonna fall off the healthy bandwagon the second week into his vacation. But we're gonna start off with this for lunches. For dinner tonight, I decided to get this. I usually don't get a lot of like the seasoned proteins from Costco, but um, tonight we are very busy with like a Christmas program and stuff, so this is gonna help me out tremendously. The price on here is pretty good too for all of this, so I'm gonna grill all of this up on the barbecue outside and just like make a side of rice with some vegetables on the side, so very, very simple but easy dinner tonight. They had a very small limited quantity on eggs. We were only limited to two packages of eggs. They didn't even have the five dozen um, available, which is crazy. So I did get two um, cartons. There's 24 eggs in each of those. We've been out of these chomsticks for quite a while. If you have been following me for a bit, you know how obsessed I am with these chomsticks. I usually get them at Trader Joe's but they just recently came to Costco a couple months ago, which is phenomenal. You get 12 sticks in here, which is equals out to a really great price. Okay, so it is December. What I plan on doing with these chips, not only to give as options for my kids um, for their lunches, but I also plan on doing like a little treat cart outside of my front door for deliveries. I did that last year because we get so many things delivered. I'm sure you guys are just the same way. You prefer to just shop online, get it delivered. I'm gonna say like 90% of our shopping, Christmas shopping is done online. Also, my mom sends a lot of her stuff that she shops for online to my house. So it's kind of like, we're getting a ton of deliveries here. So I just wanted to be, you know, just grateful and show them that thank you so much for doing the, the heavy work for me, for me, for us. So I just wanna put like a little snack cart available to them. I needed to get some laundry detergent. It was on sale this month. Have you guys ever tried the Kirkland brand? It was the same price, I believe, and same amount of loads, but I wasn't sure. Let me know what you guys think about it. Maybe I'll give it a go next time. And then I also got the Cascade dishwashing detergent. I'm still having issues with our dishwasher. I've talked about it frequently on here. The little tabs get stuck in the door so it doesn't release fully. So this only seems to be working for us, just like the liquid stuff, so I'm sticking with that. Moving back, these are the chips that I prefer to get, are the big bags of chips, and these are always so good. They weren't on sale this month. I like to catch them when they're on sale, but they are honestly still worth the price. It's a massive bag. Down here is the Four Fruits Preserve. I always get this whenever it's available at Costco. They seem to rotate it out every like three to four months, I think is the last time I've seen it. So I did get that because I like to make thumbprint cookies for Christmas. So this is what I plan on using for the jam. I also got some peanut butter because we are going through peanut butter like crazy. I have a recipe for their like Kevin McAllister's like M&M Christmas Eve cookies that he makes on his on the movie. So I just try to like replicate that. They're just inspired like monster cookies basically with peanut butter. So I use that peanut butter for those cookies but also for my kids peanut butter and jelly. We are huge mushroom fans in our house. They even had like a wild mushroom like container like this big but it was like $16 and I was so tempted but decided not to. But I plan on making like a lot of things with like chicken and mushroom or like Salisbury steak with mushrooms, so good. On the Costco Instagram, I was looking at new things that possibly could be available to my Costco. They had a cheese like advent. Oh my gosh, I was on the lookout for that and they had nothing. I know I just went to Trader Joe's. I stocked up on some really good cheese there, but I couldn't pass this up. Um, I have to go to buy the cheese section every single every single time I'm at Costco, but this is some Winsleydale with cranberries. I may have picked this up last December or November, but I'm a huge fan of Winsleydale. Every time I say Winsleydale, I think of Wallace and Gromit, who Wallace is obsessed with Winsleydale, so I got some of that. I also have some Black Forest ham right here just for wraps and sandwiches while we are at home or for my kids' lunches too. I have the three pack of the ground beef. I always get this ground beef. Usually I get two of these packages, but when I checked my freezer, we had two left. So I didn't really make that much beef this month. I, I used a lot of chicken. And each little package, each little like brick is 1.34 pounds. 
of the organic ground beef. Because um, my husband is gonna be going on Christmas vacation soon, he is a teacher, he'll be at home. My kids, soon enough, in a couple weeks, they'll be going off. But they love bagels for breakfast, like uh, bagel breakfast sandwiches and whatnot, so I decided to get these. We got some everything bagel and then some plain bagels. You get two for the price of, I think it's like $8 or something. I also have some blueberries back here for yogurt parfaits or for oatmeal. I did decide to get a baggie of avocados. The price is still pretty good, I would say. Not um, super low, but not as high as I've seen it before. But I thought that that was a reasonable price, so I did get that. I have some milk. I have plenty of milk outside, um, so I just needed to get the one like, can, what do you call this? Like, it's not a pack, one package, I guess, of milk. There's two gallons in there. I have some upside down Ritz crackers. That's bugging me, hold on. There we go, that looks a lot better. I got some Ritz crackers. I was actually looking for more of like the Cars, like the Cars brand crackers. That's what we like to have with our like charcuteries or to snack on at night. Um, but there wasn't really a good amount of cracker selection there. So I just decided to go with the Ritz because the price was really good, it was on sale. So I got that. Um, also, I figured I could make like a Ritz cracker chicken, like, you know, make it like a breadcrumb out of Ritz crackers because there is a ton in here. There's 18 stacks of Ritz crackers in here. I have some eggnog to make some fancy schmancy eggnog cocktails um, for the evenings coming up. I did get some brandy from Target. I also have some spiced rum that um, we could use as well. So that is what the eggnog is for. Also, I had seen a recipe for eggnog cinnamon rolls, and I think I may have made that before, but it just sounds so good so and festive, so I, I think I might make those pretty soon. I have some broccoli right here, and I think this is what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. I'm gonna put a side of broccoli with our garlic chicken. Okay, the price for strawberries was pretty high, but I had to get it. My daughter has been loving strawberries lately and she's become a little bit picky and I think it just might be her age thing but when it comes to fruit she's only really enjoying like bananas and apples and blueberries there's really she doesn't like citrus fruits or anything but I, I'm willing to pay the price for that if she's going to eat them and I guarantee you she will eat them she will eat a big handful of them at one time the Christmas cookies are in you guys and they're looking fantastic so in here there is five different cookies there's like this chocolate crinkle there's a like a sprinkle several sprinkles i think there's chocolate chips in here as well and then like little mini m m cookies but they're right up front you cannot miss them when you walk into costco i'm sure that's how it's going to be at yours as well i have some chicken breasts right here this is like the right i always get this chicken breast i stick the whole thing in the freezer and then once it's frozen i will cut it up into the little packages because they're separated into little packets do not do it when you get them because juice will go all over the place and it is nasty and disgusting and this chicken tends to last us probably under a month i would say sometimes i have to supplement this chicken with chicken from winco which is totally fine but um, i like to have this in the freezer for dinners i have some spinach of course for all of my smoothies all of my smoothies that i make after i work out um, i always put spinach in there also for like sandwiches wraps scrambled eggs like breakfast burritos everything anywhere i can put spinach i will put spinach in i don't think i talked about greek yogurt i have greek yogurt this is always in my hauls because i like to to make myself like yogurt bowls um also this is good substitute for sour cream so like in sauces just sub out the sour cream for greek yogurt plain greek yogurt not like vanilla that'd be kind of weird okay back here i do plan on using the nutrigrain bars for not just for my kids but also as an option for the delivery drivers and in here there's 64 bars in here and there's strawberry blueberry and apple cinnamon flavors this is for my kids this is the gogurt there's strawberry mixed berry in here what i've found is that my older son has been sticking several of like the little tubes in the freezer that's how he's been eating them and actually my younger son has been loving that too so i'm probably late to that game but maybe try the yogurt in the freezer see if your kids enjoy that back here i have bread i actually have two packages right there if you can see the one behind there you have two very large loaves of um, the 100 percent whole wheat bread all of this bread is going to go straight into my freezer because we go through a lot of bread each month moving back i have some um, coffee this is on sale right now this is the organic Starbucks winter blend I got two packages one is right below it as well but this is the whole bean again you can grind your own coffee at at Costco their grinders are near the front of the store so 
Do not worry, like if you're looking and all they have is whole bean, don't worry, you're able to go up and grind your own coffee if you need to. But I don't prefer to grind my own coffee at home. I like to grind it like either the night before or the morning that I'm gonna be using it. Costco still has the grass-fed beef patties. I love these beef patties so much. These make for the best weeknight meals, especially when you don't have much time, because you can just grill them frozen. Like you don't have to defrost them at all. Just throw them on the grill, makes the perfect weeknight burger. I did get two bunches of bananas right here, some, some more ripe ones and some greener ones, so we have time to eat them. Butter, because hello, baking season, December, I make a ton of stuff. I also like to bake stuff and give things away to like my neighbors and friends, so always needing butter. Same with the cream cheese this month. I usually don't get this much cream cheese, but with cooking and baking, this is the best price. You get six packs of cream cheese in here, and usually like at Winco or Target, you can pay anywhere from like $2.25 to $3.25 for one brick, which is crazy. So this price is so good. I have the individual trail mix snack packs in here. There's 28 in there, and there's like a variety of like peanuts, M&Ms, I think there's almonds in there as well. This is for my children, but also for the delivery drivers. Chocolate chips, of course, for baking. This I found is the most economical way to buy chocolate chips. It is a massive, massive bag. It is four and a half pounds, but we tend to go through a four and a half pound bag maybe every month and a half or so, I would say. I have some English cucumbers. I did get some cucumbers from Trader Joe's recently, but we're down to one of those left, so I did need to stock up on the cucumbers for my kids' lunches. And then for me and my husband, too, we like to have like some cucumbers and carrots with our charcuterie. Speaking of carrots, here are the baby carrots, and you get two bags. The price is always great on these baby carrots, um, but we always get that. And what I do also is towards the end of like the expiration date of the of the carrots, usually we have like maybe half or more than half of a bag left towards the end of the month. What I do is I will stick this bag on my counter because my kids, if they see food out, they will eat it. They think that's their invitation to eat whatever they can. So if I leave a bag out, they will literally just grab handfuls of baby carrots and eat them. So it's a great way to get rid of things that are about to go bad. Stick them on your counter, guys, and let your kids go at it. I have a bag of Brussels sprouts right here. I always get Brussels sprouts in every haul because my kids really enjoy Brussels sprouts. So do I. I did get a little container of some green grapes right here for our kids' lunches and for ourselves as well. I got a container of some tomatoes, just a bunch of different colored tomatoes in here. And what I do with these little baby tomatoes is I like to cut them up and put them in my wraps or I like to do them like put them on my egg burritos or egg scrambles. I always throw some of the tomatoes in there. I got two packages of flour tortillas this month because we've been going through them really quickly. Um, but in every bag like of this, there are two packages inside with 20 flour tortillas. So there's 40 flour tortillas total in here. So I did get the two of them because we've just been going through them like like crazy. My kids really enjoy breakfast burritos on the weekends, like with their eggs and their sauerkraut and their bacon. We put, we make burritos out of them, enchiladas, all that good stuff. Everything is going to go into the freezer and then I just pull out what I need. I got a lot of protein this month because we honestly, like when it's towards the end of the month, I find that there's really nothing left, but I love having these in the free, in the freezer. These are just the organic young chicken. This is the whole chicken. And usually this is good for two meals for us. I like to just roast it. It roasts in an hour, which is perfect. Um, and it's so simple. And then you can just eat what you want that night, shred the rest of the chicken, and then save that chicken for another meal. And then back here, of course, I cannot pass up the wine section. I did get up, pick up several different ones. Now this, my husband picked up recently for Thanksgiving. It was absolutely phenomenal. So I did get two bottles of the, of the Luke Syrah. I also got um, just a regular cab. I was just trying to find different things that we've never had before. And then a Pinot. My husband is more of a Pinot fan than a Cab fan, but I didn't want to forget about him, so I got him some Pinot. All right, my friends, that is it for this Costco haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel on your way out. I would really appreciate your support. And I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye, guys.